Welcome to the Bourbon Band. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. This is Five Sip Friday, in Flagstaff, Arizona. It's awesome. Today's Five Sip Friday is coming from Eric C. and Ruby Hart 921. We promised you a daytime video. It's late afternoon but we made it it's Close not enough. dark sun is still up so we're counting it as a win and if it's your first time joining us for five sip friday this is an exercise where julie and i knows a glass take five sips this is a mystery whiskey to us it was gifted to us this time by eric c and ruby heart 921 and we try to guess what it is we say whether or not we like it and ultimately it is revealed what it is it can be any kind of whiskey irish japanese scotch bourbon rye you name it. Well, Eric C and Ruby Heart 921, thanks again. This is a beautiful color and we are going to get right to the nose. Ooh, I'm salivating already. Oh, I like it. I got a little carameliness on that. The usual a suspects. Of, the usual suspects. A hint of vanilla, a hint of some spice uh, creeping in there. Nice oak, char, cinnamon, caramel, vanilla. Hey, sip number one. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Dang it. Better not be another wow. baker's. It's a, <laughs> it's a strawberry, but I am getting some cinnamon on it. Good vanilla. Wow. Ooh, it's sweet and delicious. Granulated sugar, a little bit of maybe a strawberry hint on the beginning oh, of it. Oak on the tail end of it. Ooh, it's really, really nice. This is gonna be tough. First whiskey of the day, by the way, so not making excuses for later on when I inevitably get this completely wrong. No. we. We generally get them wrong. Sip number two. Ooh, I had a little hint of pepper in there. I think this is a bourbon. I, I did so get too. fooled on one previously where it was like a sweet rye. Yeah. I'm gonna need more sips to figure that out, but I would Ooh. go bourbon on this one. Ooh, she's nice and she's got a little bit of heat, not little a lot. Heat. The brown sugar is really mm. nice on Lovely. this. Lovely. Oh man. I, I like this a ton, whatever this is. Sip two just has me feeling fantastic about this particular whiskey. It's delicious. I'm getting a little cozy inside. Sip number three. Let's do it. Okay. Mm. I still get that sweet fruit note. Mm. This is definitely a bourbon. Oh man, all I want with, with theirs is to say Buffalo Trace, yeah. but I know that it's not. It really tastes like a little bit of that crackery cornmeal sort of thing going on as well. There's, there's a ton of good flavor in this. I think it's delicious. I kind of want to say a wild turkey product. Huh. It's not super cinnamony, and the flavors don't really mesh with what I would think it should taste like, but... It could be like a master's like, keep of some I know, type. but there is like a, cin a hint of cinnamon in there that always just kind of pushes me that way. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. This is a tough one. I, I don't think this is something that we've had before or not something we've had a lot of before. Yeah. This is a very unusual sip, tons of flavor. Mm -hmm indistinguishable flavor too because it's not reminding me of any particular distillery but it is really really good so the nose now smells real familiar mm, let's do a sip for yeah these are hard mm -hmm. Ooh, see now i got a little bit of spice in there Ooh, i don't know i got a little baking spice in there man this is really good this is definitely not okay let's let's do a quick rundown yeah it's not tennessee no i don't think that this is a finished whiskey i do not believe that it's a finished whiskey either i think it's bourbon i'm gonna rule out buffalo trace i'm gonna rule out anything on the west coast agreed i think that this is going to prove to be a kentucky whiskey maybe mgp but i'm not getting any of the usual flavors that i usually get from mgp that stick out so and i was just thinking like i could go mgp on this just Sometimes when it just tastes familiar, I think that's the safe way to go. You might be right. You might be right. I don't know. It, it's it's intense flavors. They're all ramped up, whatever this is. Mm -hmm. I think it's Kentucky. I don't think it's Heaven Hill. I don't think it's not Four Roses. No. If, I, if I'm if i going to have to make, make an absolute guess right now, I I think maybe this is the second time they've thrown us a Bardstown product. Oh, It's the only thing that's popping into my head right now. It's the only thing. Interesting. Well, we have one more sip to... Figure it out. And I saved some because I want to have yeah. more after. Mm. Is that I'm, a candied pecan? I'm thinking about it. Damn. I know that I'm 100% wrong on this, 
but for some reason I want to go wild turkey and just I'm just throwing <laughs> stuff out. I'm just you throwing like it a, out there. Are you thinking like a wild turkey single barrel, like 110 proof or something like that? Yeah, I think it's like, like right around. I was gonna say 107, but 110 yeah. sounds pretty decent. See, I, I think it's like 106 or 107, yeah. maybe 105. So I'm gonna go wild turkey. I know that I'm wrong on that, but I'm gonna go single barrel 110. Okay. Totally wrong though. And I'm just gonna do the stupid thing, even though. Of the three samples they gave us, one was already proven to be a Bardstown. I'm gonna go back to Bardstown. There's I like just, it. It's so indistinguishable for me. There's so much flavor here. It's so much going on. Part of me wants to go back to that Knob Creek 100 well because, oh. you know, it's... It's not nutty at all. It's not super nutty, but it's also, I don't get a ton of like age on this. So right. I think I'm sticking with Bardstown. I think I'm going... 103 to 104 proof. I'm taking two proof points on this one. That's okay. And um, You get five, and technically. Just, and just to be totally unequivocally clear, I'm enjoying this very much. This is delicious. Delicious. Yeah. All right, are we ready to find out what this is? Yes. Here we go. And as always, I can tell there's a photo involved, which oh makes me extremely happy. I am so ready to be so wrong on this one. Oh boy. Okay, sorry. <laughs> we are not right, of course, because we're never right. I, for, for a faint second, there was a glimmer of hope in my heart, and then now there's not. So this is this beautiful photo. Thank you very much. Ezra Brooks, Distiller's Collection, local store pick, 107 proof, barrel June 7, 2016, barrel age five years. Oh boy. Yeah, I never would have gotten that. So that's a Luxco product, right? And... Um, the only ones that I'm familiar with are the old Ezra 7, which has sort of a astringent nuttiness, in my yeah. opinion. And then some of the local barrels that we've seen around. So there is an Ezra Brooks that we've tried recently. It was available at Trailhead Liquor in Bend. I don't know if it's still there. We've been on this road trip for a long time, but that was the best iteration or example of that line that I've ever had, uh, ultimately till today. Of course, I haven't tried it side by side, but this is very good. I do think that those there's something special about those single barrels and uh, this one didn't give off any of that astringent nuttiness that I sometimes get on that old Ezra 7 so uh, or even the Ezra Brooks 99 so this yeah. is a totally fooled us I think we're 0 for 3 with you guys yeah and Eric and Kathy throwing us some I am not pleased about that hyper mystery whiskeys well you're just gonna have to send us more um, don't, don't listen to him <laughs> we love you guys <laughs> well that was this is a fantastic glass of whiskey. I'm glad we have a lot left over uh, because it's getting chilly in the shade here and I'm gonna go sit in the sun and enjoy this. So yes. thank you so much, Eric C and Ruby Heart 921. We appreciate all the whiskeys that you sent to us and thanks as always for being supporters of the channel. If you would like to support the channel, you can check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash the bourbon van. You can support us for as little as $3 a month and see all of our travel videos and everything else. Check us out on Instagram at the bourbon van and from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. cheers. Glad I didn't say bakers again. Dang it.